Hi everybody, I'm Victoria Dennis here with Ant Eater TV. Joining me tonight is Michael Brinkley with a career high of 25 digs against Long Beach State tonight. Brinkley, just you run us through the game. Um, I think in games one, um, we started playing and we competed and we all competed them. In game two, we started to let it go a little bit, but we still won. And in the third game, they they played better than us. They wanted to win and we didn't, and we just wanted them to lose. And so the fourth fourth game, we kind of woke up, and that's when Zach kind of talked to us and was like, "Hey guys, if we want to win this game, like we got to wake up and we got to start playing and we got to start fighting for every point." And I think that's what we did, and that's how we got to come back. So with the playoffs coming up, what did this game mean to the team? Um, this just seals us. It's like another test for us in the MPSF run. It just shows us like, hey, this is another team that we're gonna have to beat in order to get into the NCAA. So this week and next week are gonna be two like huge um, games for us in order to see how well we're gonna do in the NCAA. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Hi everybody. I'm here with Zach Lockaberry. Great four set win over Long Beach. So you had 23 kills tonight. Take us through your swing and what you've been working on in practice. Uh, in practice, Niff has really been on me about being being the guy, especially being opposite. I, I got to be the guy, the offensive threat, and uh, any ball that gets thrown on my way, I got to give the best chance with the best possibility for us to either get a point directly or somehow turn it into a point. So, really been trying to put that into practice and uh, putting more faith in my guys to help cover me if I get blocked, and really just trying to make smarter swings, more aggressive swings in practice, and trying to help translate that into the match. So when you guys went down that third set, everybody noticed you brought the team together and really pulled out the energy. Yeah. What was said to the team? You know, I, I kind of kind of got on them a little bit. I, I knew we weren't playing our best game. We we really uh, bent over to them in that in that third game, and it started to carry over to that fourth. And I was realizing that. Luckily, um, we had that timeout early in the game where I can kind of yell at the guys about it. And I just told them, um, you know, this is. I don't care who, I know we're switching lineups right now, I know there's different guys on the court, but that doesn't matter. The guys that are in deserve to be in, and you gotta be able to do your job. And uh, just kept telling them that, I mean, no disrespect to Long Beach, but I mean, we're a better team than them, we're better offensively, de defensively, and from the service lineup. I just reminded the guys about that, and I said just keep putting that into practice and remember kind of what we've worked for, and uh, yeah, just remember how much we're, that we're better than them, and really on the court. So. Mm -hmm. so congrats on the win and moving forward for playoffs, where do you guys sit? How's the lookout for that? You know, I think right now Hawaii's still first, so it's kind of, obviously we, we got to uh, really be mindful of the teams we're still playing. We still got to play Santa Barbara at their place, which would be a tough match. And then we got, I think we got a San Diego and then, oh, I can't think of any of the other one, but um, we just got to really focus in on those to be able to do our jobs and then uh, kind of see how it ends up there. Hawaii's playing really well, and uh, I mean, obviously, if we were to end up right now, we'd be going over there to the NPSF, and if that's going to be the case, and uh, I mean, we just got to remember previous times we played in there. We, we usually played pretty well, and uh, can't get nervous about the crowds or anything like that. So, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, I'm Victoria Dennis with Ant Eater TV and UC Irvine Sports.com. Join us April 18th when your UC Irvine Ant Eaters take on UC San Diego.